Image, power, and perception are very important for leaders of countries, as is comfort and luxury. These are the perks of becoming a leader. For instance, you could maintain fleets of aircrafts and private jets as you please. This is the reason why the world is now filled with presidential aircraft of varying worth, tax, and specifications. Have you ever wondered about the sorts of planes and jets powerful heads of state cruise with? Well, think no more, because today, we are going to look at the most expensive private planes of world leaders. The Ilyushin IL-96-300PU of Russia. $500 million. Vladimir Putin's flagship aircraft is the Russian-made IL-96-300PU. It is a wide-bodied, long-haul airliner that is easily distinguishable from the passenger model by its extended fuselage fairing. The sheer size of the Snow White airliner demands respect. Its length reaches almost 65 meters, and the wingspan exceeds 65 meters. The differences between the technical characteristics of the IL-96-300PU and the basic passenger model are minimal. Like the original, the maximum takeoff mass of the presidential aircraft is around 270 tons, and max cruising speed tops out at 900 kilometers per hour. The service ceiling of the aircraft is 12,000 meters. However, modifications have been made to the maximum flight length without refueling. Putin's IL-96-300PU has a significantly longer range than the standard model. While the exterior of the aircraft looks largely the same as the basic model, the cabin is lavishly decorated with tapestries and gold accents. The furniture and interior decor are finished in the neoclassical style. The current interior design was completed according to sketches of Ivan Glazunov, the son of revered Russian artist Ilya Glazunov. The interior has been fully customized to allow the president to work and rest in comfortably. The presidential airplane is equipped with a spacious office, a bedroom, and a fully equipped gym. Of course, an airliner as large as the IL-96-300PU requires superior security. The coverage is provided by pilots of the Russian Aerospace Forces Special Squad, both inside and outside of Russian territory. Putin's personal aircraft has several layers of protection against potential attacks from land or the air. The aircraft's body has a special coating that makes the plane less visible to RCS, an automated system of jamming and disorienting radars, as well as its anti-aircraft defense system. Air Force One 325M Boeing VC-25, USA, $1 billion. Air Force One is the name of any United States Air Force aircraft carrying the President of the United States at the time. The aircraft are heavily modified Boeing 747-200B models and are referred to within the government by their military designation, VC-25A. If an airport is unable to accommodate the VC-25A due to its landing strip capacity, a more compact Boeing C-32 is used. The Boeing 747 is the first double-decker, long-haul, wide-body passenger airplane in the world. From the moment of production, it was the largest aircraft of the Civic Air Force. Even now, its dimensions are impressive. The length is over 70 meters, the wingspan is 65 meters, and the width of the fuselage is 6.5 meters. The maximum speed is almost 1,000 kilometers per hour, and the flight range of the basic version is approximately 14,000 kilometers. Similar to Russia's IL-96-300PU, the extensive modifications of the two Boeing 747-200Bs was specifically designed for the President of the United States. The VC-25A has better fuel economy and an increased flight range over the original model. Alterations allowing refueling of the airliner during flight theoretically allow the aircraft to remain in the sky for an indefinite period of time. The President of the United States has substantial living space on board, with a cabin area exceeding 370 square meters the president's accommodations include a bedroom, a bathroom, a gym, and offices. Of course, the president is unable to travel alone and is always accompanied by a large retinue. Air Force One has personal space for each of his retinue members. 
High ranks have separate offices at their disposal, while others have a place to work and to rest. There is a separate area for the accompanying news reporters. Altogether, the presidential aircraft is capable of comfortably accommodating 70 passengers and 26 members of the crew. The Chinese government Boeing 747-400 $250 million. Unlike his colleagues who have multiple airplanes, General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Xi Jinping does not own a personal aircraft. The leader of the People's Republic of China uses two Boeing 747-400s belonging to Air China Airlines for his government visits and business trips. The catalog value of these planes at the time of construction was approximately $250 million each. Both of the airliners are used for regular passenger flights by Air China Airlines. However, as soon as the president plans an upcoming foreign visit, the airplanes are carefully examined by the leader's security service, which may take up to several weeks. After the examinations, the aircraft are sent to refit, during which some of the cabin seats are dismantled and replaced with a spacious living room, a bedroom, and an office. It is only possible to view the interior of the president's altered Boeing 747 through a limited number of official photographs taken on board, in particular those taken during the negotiations between Xi Jinping and the president of Kazakhstan, Nursultan Nazarbayev. Several sources report that the interior design of the PRC's presidential aircraft is rather austere and far from lavish or luxurious. Emir of Qatar $1.5 billion fleet Emir of Qatar, Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, is one of the wealthiest people on the planet. As such, he is the owner of a truly spectacular air fleet used by numerous members of his royal family. On official trips, the Emir is accompanied by an entourage of at least 1,000 people, including family members, members of the delegation, and service staff. The weight of the carried cargo is measured in tons, but consists not only of various personal items for the Emir, but even includes limousines to be used in the destination country. One aircraft, whether passenger or military, is not capable of such a large-scale transfer. This is why most of the Emir of Qatar's trips, both official and unofficial, are completed by multiple airplanes. Qatar's delegation once arrived at negotiations with the Prime Minister of Japan using 10 aircraft and to Switzerland using 8. The VIP fleet of the Qatar Amiri Flight Airline consists of 14 aircraft, the cost of each exceeding $100 million. The Emir of Qatar has an Airbus A319-100 CJ, three Airbus 32200s, two Airbus 33200s, two Boeing 747-8 BBJs, an Airbus A310-300, an Airbus A340-200, an Airbus A340-300, and an Airbus A340-500 at his disposal. The Emir of Qatar occasionally uses a business jet Bombardier Global Express BD 701 A10 and a military transport airplane, the Boeing C 17 Globemaster III, for personal use. Both of the aircraft are painted in the official livery of Qatar Airways. That wraps up the list for the most expensive private planes of world leaders. Are you amazed at the unique features of these private planes? Tell me your favorite in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.